Turning our attention now to cricket, match number eight of the 2024 Indian Premier League saw the Sunrisers Hyderabad creating history as they registered 277 for three, the highest team total in the 16-year history of the IPL to help them beat the Mumbai Indians by 31 runs early on Wednesday at the Rajiv Gandhi International Stadium. After losing the toss and being asked to bat first, the Sunrisers Hyderabad batters took a liking to the Mumbai bowlers. Travis Head struck an 18-ball half-century, the fastest for Sunrisers in the IPL. Only for moments later, Abhishek Sharma to blast a 16-ball 50 to snatch the record. Well, neither top scored for Sunrisers. That honour went to Henrik Klassen, who ended unbeaten on 80 as he added the finishing touches to the Sunrisers' record-breaking total. Well, despite the daunting total, the Mumbai Indians were positive in their reply, reaching 50 without loss at the end of the third over. But wickets at regular interval hampered their chase. Tilak Varma top scored for them with 64 as they lost steam to end on 246 for 5 from their allotted 20 overs. But speaking after the match, winning captain Pat Cummins revealed he was never worried that the Mumbai Indians would have reached their target. No, I haven't. That was insane. The ball was just pinging around. 500 runs in the game. You made so many yourself. Did you ever think, oops, this could be chased down? Uh, not until we bowled. <laughs> and then I was a little, getting a little bit yeah. closer to comfort. Uh, yeah, just one of those games, amazing game. Um, always just felt like just when they needed it, kind of they found a boundary and they were just within reach, but finished off really well. Talk us about young Abhishek Sharma. We've seen Travis Head do well. We've seen Klaassen do well for a while now. What about Abhishek? Oh, yeah, really impressive, obviously, striking the ball. I think the other thing is, you know, IPL, you play with a lot of pressure. There's big crowds. I think the freedom with how he's played, I love. And, uh, yeah, just encourage him to keep playing that because it's a lot more fun than trying to block it around. Was there a game plan going ahead? Heinrich said that you thought they'd keep Boomerah back to bowl to class. And was there a game plan saying, let's go when just Jaspreet is not bowling? I mean, you, you never play for 270, but, um, you know, we want to be really positive with the new impact player as well. You've got loads of batting, so go out there, be aggressive, take the game on. And we've got a pretty awesome batting lineup they showed it tonight. When you score as many runs as that, you could almost start to think the game is over. How did the bowling plans develop as you went along? Yeah, it's, it's obviously a good wicket, so you've just got to suck it up and know that you're going to go for a few boundaries. Um, but just try and be really clear with your plans. I think cutters um, show that it started to work towards the end. Um, and just kind of yeah, readjust your expectations because you might go for a few runs. How good was the orange in the stadium today? Yeah, it was amazing. First home game here. Crowd was as loud as I've played in front of. That was awesome. Yeah, I mean, every team's winning home games, so may it long continue for you. Well done today. Fingers crossed. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. There you go. What a match, Lance. Never were more runs scored in a men's T20 match. 523 in total. And never were more sixes hit in a men's T20. 38 in total. Well, that's why it's the IPL. And that's why it's the biggest franchise league in world cricket. And that's why it's the biggest money league in world cricket. No, but Lance, it's like Travis Head started. You yeah. felt as if, all right, Travis Head is going to do the job. Yeah. Then Abhishek comes in. Then there's a lot more sixes. But then, as I said, it's in the opening. Then Henrik Klassen. I've seen him light up the CPL live. But Lance, that IPL knock today was brilliant. And then he comes to do the interview. And he's so calm. Like, he didn't just get 80 not out and light up the entire stadium. Well, one of the significant things about that is that he had 80 not out of 34 balls and he was not man of the match. Well, that so so, so, so that, that, that tells you what kind of match it was. 38 sixes in one match and Chris Gale isn't playing. No, but they were actually talking about that. <laughs> they were actually talking about that because, you know, Chris Gale is an entity you know, when he comes to the crease. But today, this match was just a perfect show of what the IPL is capable of. And then Mumbai Indians come in. And to be honest, at some point, I felt as if maybe this chase might be possible. I know it would be ridiculous of me to think that's possible. But just the way they approached the innings and they started. 
it's so unfortunate though, Lance, that Mumbai Indians, who has been a team that I have a lot of time for, now now with their new captain joining, Hardik Pandya and all that, uh, they haven't won a match two out of of the two matches. They've both. lost both, yeah. yeah. Well, still early in the tournament, but so you still. don't want to write them off yet because there is still too much cricket left to be played for them not to think that they can rebound. But to the point that you just made about thinking you know that there was the possibility that Mumbai could chase you heard Pat Cummins in the post-match interview he pretty much said what you said that when the total was put on the board he was confident that they couldn't reach it yeah but then when they started to bowl he's he like think, what? things are going a bit haywire so um oh, this is just fantastic IPL cricket is is top draw stuff I need to get a quick comment on you though, Romario Shepard. He had 15 nuts out today. We have to keep mentioning yeah. our West Indies players. Of just six balls. Yes. But, you know, by then the, the game was, was lost. But um, good for him to get in, in, in a game like this and feel that kind of atmosphere because based on the trajectory for the T20 World Cup coming up in June, Romario Shepard is considered by many of the fans in the Caribbean as one of the players that um, can impact a strong West Indies performance. So... Um, good to see him going out there today and, you know, getting a feel and a taste of the excitement of what was a, a colossal game. Yeah, and you, um, when Pat Cummins came on the screen, very, very um, animated and excited about your Aussie. He also had a good game today um, with the ball. Well, he had... he's Aussie. He's Aussie. Okay, but we are not Aussie. <laughs> <laughs> um, he got two no, with It's expected that he'll have a good game because he's an Australian. Okay, he had two for 35 today. Mm. Good stuff from him as and, well. And good leader. Because when he took over the captaincy of the Australia team, there were doubts about his ability to lead, lead the team. And even last year when there were some stuttering in the Australian performances, I, I heard comments that they, people weren't sure that he was the right man for the job. But he has shown that he has a good head on his shoulders and he's a very measured individual. And I think he's doing good as the Australian captain. And... Um, is a good leader in the IPL as well. You say that and then instantly I just have to ask you about Hardik Pandya's captaincy because you see uh, Pat is such a good leader. Hardik comes into this new setup, two out of two losses. And yes, it, it's early, but you know how cricket fans are. They're not forgiving. You know mm. how sports fans yeah. on the whole are and Indian yeah, cricket yeah, fans. Yeah, I, I, impatient. There's a lot of pressure on Pandya. That's not, there's no question about it. And... Uh, he will have to rise to the occasion because I think he has the tools to be a good captain for Mumbai. But it hasn't started well for him. And he has to, you know, display self-belief and, and, and keep going because I think he has the tools. But there's a lot of pressure, a yeah. lot of pressure. So sometimes it takes a little time when you go into a new setup to get the feel of things. And let's hope he sorts that out soon. Well, tomorrow, Rajasthan Royals will be up against Delhi Capitals. And remember, Sportsmax, as well as uh, Sportsmax Cricket on the app, we're keeping you in the loop with everything IPL, so don't miss that. Let's take a quick break. We'll be right back.